Good morning, I'm Regan Tetlow. It's competition day three of DI PC5. It's about 10.30 in the morning. We're currently on a wind hold. It was a lot stronger earlier. We've been here since just before 8 a.m. We're gonna go upstairs and check out with safety officer Alan Gayton and just see if we've got any chance of skydiving in the uh, near future. So I'm here with Alan Gayton, uh, General Manager of the Drop Zone here at the Palm. Alan, what's going on with the weather? It's still over your limits, eh? Yeah, we currently have 22 knots ground winds and uh, upper winds ranging from 30 to 35 knots uh, from 3,000 feet. Uh, we've got cloud base at 4,000 feet, broken, but uh, not a factor at the moment. Yeah. It's just the winds, really, for the free fall events. Was this forecast for today? Um, it was a little bit lower, but uh, the forecast guys are doing a great job and they give us on, uh, on the spot uh, weather information every hour, so we know what's going on from Dubai Air Navigation Services. We've got um, actually a, a weather station, a weather tent, an office here, haven't we? We've got actually meteorologists here on site. Yeah, they're here from six in the morning till six at night every day, and uh, they're giving us weather weekly forecasts and uh, on the hour upper winds for us so that we can make the skydiving as safe as possible. So we're here in the Weather Forecast Centre and we're with Ryan. Hi Ryan. Hi, how are you this afternoon? I'm good. We're back on standby again. It's too windy. Yeah, that's a bit unfortunate. Like a bit above the thresholds of 15, 16 knots, which is what we need for the accuracy jumping. Yeah. But hopefully the winds start to ease off a bit just before sunset for tonight. So hopefully we can get more of the competition in. What's the provision for the rest of the day? Are we going to get in the air? Well, we hope so. We should be uh, trying for some uh, another test load with the free fall at the Crescent. Yeah. And uh, we'll be shortly starting the canopy formation over at the horse track again. Those guys can handle these conditions. Here with um, Sweden, two-way CF and the, the speed guys as well, aren't we? You've been watching the live scoring. Uh, there's been some shocks, I think, this morning, hasn't there? Yeah. What, what, yeah. We, what we've just seen? Uh, the Americans um, scored a 12 now. What would you expect? Yeah. Uh, around, 20, around 19, 20, 21. What, what, what could have been the problem? It seems like they um, took the wrong point, so they got the ducks from that. How do you do the points in two-way? Is it is it a set? move is it like left right and tell me how it works i don't know you i don't really know you've got six possible points right it's a b c d e f and uh, you have a draw of five points and then you repeat that sequence right in one minute as fast as you can i think we were talking earlier you said you were, you were aiming for top three this year yeah and how's it going are you, are you on track uh, yeah we're a bit behind now because uh, our last jump wasn't that good so but uh what went wrong we're not giving up uh, yeah, we also went <laughs> to the wrong point, so. Yeah. <laughs> so you have to be able to remember the program. That's like a basic thing in this sport. <laughs> <laughs> You're still smiling though. Yeah, but it's fun, it's beautiful to be here, so. Yeah. And uh, there's still a lot of jumps to go. Where do you guys land with the speed? Are you landing Up on, the on the Crescent? Are you guys on the Crescent as well? Uh, no, we're on the horse race track. We've not been there yet. We must get down there and check out that drop yeah. zone. And it's, it's, it's no problem to land in this wind over there. No, really? It, was, it wasn't that. Even if, even uh, when the skyscrapers take the wind and get bumpy on the other side, well, no problem. Where is it? How far is it? Like four or five kilometers from here. And they bring you back with it the buses there? Yeah. Or? yeah.
Hey Frenchies, how's it going? Yeah. Come on, we only want to talk to you like friends. Skydiving's changed, hasn't it? These last four or five years with Skydive Dubai and all, it's, it's, it's another level, isn't it? It's, it's, a different, it's a different sport now than what it was pre uh, this kind of Dubai situation. Let's, let's say that the, the, the sports also for us stay the same, but the, um, the commitment all around us has changed. The, the, uh, the representativity, it's true that this um, made a revolution. And when yeah. you see the events that we have now, it's, it's, it's amazing to, to have this level of comfort, of, uh, of uh, place, of, yeah. uh, yeah. Organization, it's true that uh, it's the first time. Yeah, and it, it all comes together at the right time. Now we've got the internet and we've got the ability yeah. of YouTube and Facebook and the things that we're doing now, you know, it's being watched by thousands of people worldwide. So you, you've got those two sides of it. You've got the fact that we can get the information out there with social media and the fact we've got the big investment that we've got now. I often sometimes think it's strange that some of the new people joining the sport in the last few years, they think it's always been like this. Yes. Five, ten years ago, we had uh, no social media. We didn't have the big investment. It was a world-class meets were a very different situation than what we've got here, weren't they? Yes. Uh, even we went to Benjaluka a few months ago. It's not the same. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah. sometimes it's good to come back to the roots. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's good to remind ourselves, you know. Where we come from. Exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, French guys, thank you very much, French guys and girls. Thank you, Rian. It was a pleasure. Thank you. A tout à l'heure. A tout à l'heure. Ouais. Ouais. So the sun is starting to set on this last day of November and it's been a very start-stop type of day. We started on a standby and then the winds came down below limits and we got some of the teams up in the air. We've not had any classic accuracy all day, it's been over limits for them. But that is part of this competition scene. This is what these athletes know it's all about. It's not all about one jump to another then to another. Sometimes you're on standby for can be a day or two days. You've got to keep that concentration, You've got to keep the pressure up and keep the focus. We're really starting to get to that type of time of the competition now. We're halfway through, the positions are starting to formulate. We know we've got some really tight battles taking place. Look at the four-way open. World champions Hayabusa, they've got a new lineup. The Canadians now, those three brothers are really biting them. It's neck and neck there. In the freestyle, we've got the world champions. The French, we've got the Yo-Yo and we've got Will as well. And they're trying to hold on to that battle. We know in the four-way female UAE are pushing the French. French traditionally always strong. So it's really starting to heat up now. We're going to be following all the action. You can check out the results as well. At the end of this, we've got the results shown or you can go onto the social media of DIPC, the Facebook page as well. Don't forget the hashtag DIPC5 for all your comments, photos and videos. Get them on the big screen and we'll be showing them as well. We hope you enjoy the video. But from us here, let's kind of do bites. Great good night. We'll see you all tomorrow. Good night. <laughs> yes, Mr. Bond. <laughs> Do you know, I was looked into having a hair transplant. It was expensive. It was about $3,000. And I said to the guy, you know what? I can't afford that. He said, but yeah, but it's real hair. It'll look great. I said, but have you got anything cheaper? He said, what we can do is put a two centimeter patch of hair on the palm of your hand. That's $500. I said, but you know, it's cheap, but it looks stupid. He said, well, it looks stupid, but it feels great when you do this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you like it? Hey. <laughs> I was going to say, give me an impression of the competition. Now he said he's going to give me an impression of me. Okay. So, Alan, tell me, how are you thinking uh, the competition's going so far? Well, I think it's going okay. <laughs> I'll be stood here with face cream on, and I think it's solidified. But apart from that, everything's fine. <laughs> Ha 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 ha!